Hi, this is Brent, and today I'm going to talk about skinning the tree component. What I have here is a simple tree component that I've dragged to the stage. I've added some action script code that uh, uses XML to populate the object. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to skin this component. Now, if I test my movie, what you see are the default icons and colors for the component you have a twirl down arrow that's either closed or open, you have a folder icon that is open or closed, and then you have an icon with each item. The first thing you do is you go to File, Import, and Open External Library. What we're doing is we're going to edit the theme assets for the tree component that are used in Flash, and currently you have Halo theme, you also have a sample theme. What we're doing is editing the library of assets that come with the Halo theme. Now you'll notice that this file is located within the hard drive program files, Macromedia, Flash 8, the current language, the configuration, and component FLA. And inside you're going to select Halo theme and click Open. This is going to open an external library, and we're going to double click, get to themes, default, and scroll down. And notice you have folders for each component. We're going to scroll down to tree assets, and I'm going to drag this folder to my library. At this point, I'm done with the external library. I'll close that. And now I can double click here and open the elements. And you'll notice here we have the closed arrow, the open arrow, the folder, open and then the node icon. Now, it's very simple. From this point, we just double click on an icon, whoops, on the icon, and it's going to open up inside the edit view within the stage. I'm going to zoom in and show you what I'm talking about. Now at this point, you can either change the color, you could change the physical look of this component. I mean, you can do whatever you want at this point. I don't know what that is, but we'll undo it. What I'll show you is I'll just change the color. So here I've selected my paint bucket. I've selected a color. Uh, we'll go with a nice yellow, and I'll just change the color. Now I'll click the arrow to back out of that, and you'll notice that it's changed within here. If I test my movie, you'll notice that the arrow has changed. Now, we didn't edit this one yet, and so it's still the old gray. So let's go and fix that. So I double click. I'm going to zoom in so I can see where I'm at. Change the color. We have the folder icon. You can do the same thing. Now, on any one of these, you can either edit the existing icon or you can change it completely. So I'm going to change this one completely. I'm going to select what's there and I'm going to delete it. Now, you can import a, a graphic, you could draw your own. Whatever you do, you just place it within this framework, keeping the registration point up in the left-hand corner. So for example, I'm just going to draw with the Polygon Star, Polystar tool. And we'll make something simple. Double click to select everything, drag it, and here we are. I'm going to back out of that and we'll test our movie and I'll show you what that means. All right, look at that. So, if you want, you can change the folder icons, you can do all sorts of things. That is the basics of skinning the tree component. Now, the only thing to keep in mind is what we did is we opened the Halo theme and brought in this folder. Let's say, for example, you were to bring in a folder from the sample theme. You may notice that if you change the icons and test your movie, you may notice that it doesn't work, that the icons are still the same. One thing to check is go to each element, right click, choose linkage, and make sure export in first frame is selected. That applies to when you're changing the elements of the sample theme. So hopefully that works and gives you an idea. It's fairly straightforward. And you can see how that works with skinning other components as well.